Hi all, welcome to this Canvas Studio tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at how to create a video quiz and assign a video quiz uh, using Canvas Studio Media. So we're in our Canvas dashboard. Let's go ahead and click on our trusty studio icon in the global menu. Uh, this is going to take us into our My Library. And today for this demonstration, I am going to show you how to grab a YouTube video. So we're going to go up into our Add button up here and we're gonna use YouTube video here. So I need to get a link for the YouTube video. Uh, today, we're gonna to demo Sonny Brown Doodlers Unite. It's a video about visual communication and the importance of visual literacy and doodling and sketch noting. So I'm gonna copy that link address. I'm gonna come back over into Studio. I'm gonna paste that here in my YouTube field and click Add. So this adds the uh, video. You can see the media pop up here. It's just really pointing to YouTube at this point. One of the options for the video in the options menu down here, if we click this, is to create a quiz. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that interface looks like. So in this interface, um, we're going to put in a video quiz title. So I'll just doodlers unite video quiz. We'll keep it kind of generic. I'm going to skip the description for the sake of brevity. This is kind of important down here. Um, if you have the, uh, there's question markers in your video and what will happen is if you don't hide the question markers, some students will kind of game the system and they'll just move around in the video until they get to the questions and answer the questions, not necessarily watch it. So uh, if you click this, it hides the question markers so they don't know when they're going to get a question, kind of keeps them on their toes. So whatever your preference, but that's what that toggle does down there. We're going to click the get started button. Okay, so down here you can see in the lower left the little plus icon. That's where you can add a question. There are three types of questions you can currently use in a video quiz. There's multiple choice, true, false, and multiple answers. We've got the timeline here, and what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to um, scan through the video and periodically click the button, the plus button, in order to add one of these question types in the timeline. So. I'm going to pause this video and kind of get forwarded to the first location. Okay, so here I've found the spot uh, where I want to ask my first question. There's a little graph here, um, the time value of doodling um, as the value goes up on the y-axis um, and the age goes, you know, people get older along the, um, the x-axis down here. So um, I'm going to ask the question, I'm going to hit plus, ask a multiple choice question. I'm actually going to kind of make it a fill in the blank question. Uh, as a person grows older, according to Brown, they their value of doodling. And then I'll put this here and we can go increases, decreases. We can throw another distractor in there. stays the same, or maybe we do something like levels off. All right, we need to, oh, we need to spell this right, decreases, all right, and we need to mark the correct answer. Um, you can continue to add distractors or other options for multiple choice. Um, the options down here are we can vary point by answer. Um, if you wanted to, you could shuffle your answer choices, and uh, we've got some question feedback. So let's give them some feedback here. All right, to kind of get the idea, we're gonna save this question here. And you can see that that plus icon is now a pencil and you can continue to go on and add other, let's say we get up here and we wanna ask another question. Um, true or false, Brown has discussed, let's say has shared, has shared a positive definition of doodling. That is false at this point, and we can click Save. So you can get multiple questions. You see that the the last question has a little question marker on it for us. Um, this is the one that we're currently editing in. If we kept going in the video, you can see it turns this one into a question mark, but if we hover over it, we get the pencil icon, and it shows us when on the timeline we've placed those questions. Okay, so let's say that we're, oh, one tip real quick is down here, playback speed. Um, you can watch this at a faster speed um, if you're familiar with it, and you're just scanning to look for where you can ask questions. So that's kind of something that you could look at. We're going to go up here. Uh, if you want to go back and make any edits to the 
uh, title, description, or whether you change your mind about toggling the question markers. Um, we can see them because we're the teacher, but students won't be able to see those little icons. Uh, if we left this here, then they would. All right, and you can change your mind and delete. All right, I'm gonna hit save and come back up. We're gonna pretend we're done with the quiz. We're gonna go into done, and we can see a little icon up here in the upper right of the um, thumbnail that shows that there's a quiz attached to this. Okay, so now we've built it, but how do we assign it, right? So we need to assign it in a course. Um, we can go and assign this as an assignment. So let's go into our dashboard. I'm gonna go into my sandbox course. And in my sandbox course, I'm just gonna to go to assignments to assign it. So I'm gonna choose assignments. And I'm gonna click my add assignment button in the upper right. All right, so I need a um, title, a little direction here. Now, we don't actually have to put any content in a rich content editor. I'm just putting this prompt here so they know what's supposed to show up. But what's actually kind of cool about this, you can assign your points. Um, it's an, I'm just leaving it in assignment group. If you have other assignment groups, you can assign it to. I'm going to leave the display grade as points. Uh, but um, here under um, submission type, we're going to choose external tool and we're going to click find. And this is where we go locate Canvas Studio. So this is kind of the trick here. It's not necessarily the easiest thing to find. Go to submission type, choose external tool, hit Canvas Studio. This will bring a pop up window, which basically gives us kind of a a smaller view, a scaled down view of our library. We can search around in our library in order to find video quizzes we want to assign. Ours is right here in the upper left. We can see that. So it's kind of a, a couple step process. Okay, so we select the video and then notice there's standard embed. That would just put the video there. If they just we just wanted to put the video in so they could watch the video, we could do that. Uh, in this case though, we want to use the video quiz embed. So we're gonna select video quiz embed that's what's actually going to do it. You can have multiple quizzes or versions of different quizzes assigned. Um, we're just going to, we have one version, so we're going to embed that version. And we're going to choose the select. Um, you can have different attempts. You can connect that to the uh, queue, the student information system. You should set a due date as it is a quiz and there are points assigned to it. And then we can click save and publish. Uh, what we see in the preview screen is a little different because we are the, the teacher, the instructor. So the students won't see all of this, but they'll see a lot of it. So they'll see our prompt up here and they'll see this um, video. They'll be able to click the get started. And we see this down here, insights, captions. We get to see the quiz results. We get to look at item analysis and student results. Nobody's taken it yet. Um, so. Um, so that's embedded in there. Once students start taking it, you can't go back and alter the questions. So you want to make sure that you have that um, all set up. Okay, so that is how we can create a video quiz using YouTube videos or content that we've created or that we've um, created and pulled into Canvas Studio at any rate. And it's uh, a little walkthrough on how you can assign those video quizzes to students in your courses. Thanks for your time and attention, and I will see you in the next video.